guys, it's Matthew with Pasture Management, and in this video we're going to be talking about tensioning high tensile woven wire. Today we're going to be tensioning our high tensile fixed knot wire, and here we've got some of the tools that we're going to need to be able to do that. Well, we've got our stretcher bars, uh, we've got stretcher bar pullers, uh, we've got our crimp sleeves, we've got our easy pull tool that we're going to use as a crimper, and we've got our staples and our T-clips. So let's get started. So the first step is to position the roll of wire so it's ready to roll to the other end of the fence. And then just start rolling the wire down the hill until you get to about the midline of the fence, at which point we're going to stop and we are going to pre-strip our roll of wire. Here we have our wire staked down, preventing it from rolling itself back up the hill. It is high tensile wire, it's very springy. The next thing you'll notice is we have overlapped our fence where we're going to continue to roll it down the hill further and we're getting ready to pre-strip our rolls. You could do it this way, okay? Simply nipping that off. But let's show you how to pre-strip some because we're definitely going to have to do it again on that end where we go around the corner for a post. Simply take my flat pliers, open that up, mash it back the other way, it comes right off. That's good. Let it come up, it won't let it roll anywhere. Those staples will be pulled out and redone. Matt, let me get one up here at your top hand. All I'm doing is holding this stuff still. And you can see, y'all, I mean, I cannot stress this enough. Sunglasses, safety glasses, you've got tails of wire going everywhere. Eye protection is a must. You know, we want our fence, we try to keep this straightened up on the center of the post. You know, putting our wire in a good position to begin with. This is high tensile wire. It is very stiff. I mean, it's hard to work with. It makes your hands tired bending this. A lot of fencing contractors bring this wire around like Michael's doing, and they just simply twist it, wrap it around here. And there's nothing wrong with that, but the reason I prefer a T-clip, it lets me get this wire, put it on there. It's, it's saving my hands. My hands aren't getting tired. I'm being consistent, and plus, when we're ready to, but right before we tension this, I'm gonna to wanna to push or pull or make sure I've got this where I want it. That T-clip gives me that flexibility, how I'm positioning this wire on the post, that if I was coming around here twisting that by hand, I would not have that flexibility. So the T-clip the is a time saver and it definitely saves your hands. Now that we've rolled our wire out and we have secured it with the T-clips to both H-braces, it's time for us to go to the center of the fence and begin our center pull to tension the fence. You might need to pick up over a whip. Now, now I think we'll grab it all. Okay, y'all. Um, placement of the wedge is critical. The wire must go under the wedge so the wedge holds it. And Mike's gonna start them all. He's not gonna knock the fire out of them yet. He's gonna get them started, make sure they're all holding a piece of wire, then we'll tighten them up. Now that the wire has been attached to both stretcher bars, it's time to connect our two stretcher bar pullers to begin tensioning the wire. What it does, it walks this chain. Here we go. And before we get all carried away, Let's let it sit here, Udy. 
that's just me and Michael. What we're gonna do is ride down here, look at the corner, see how it's making up around the corner. We're gonna go up here and look. Get the top, Mike. Get the bottom. Talking about the tension curve. This is one that's already under attention and we want to make sure that we don't pull out the tension the curve button, more than, we don't want to pull out more than 50% of the curve. If we over tension the wire, we're going to put too much stress on it. This high tensile wire is not made to be overstretched. So there's two reasons that we don't want to over tension our wire and we don't want to pull out more than 50% of the tension curve. The first is when the weather changes, we yeah, want it yeah, to fine. have a wire that will expand and contract. The second is when the fence comes under pressure that the tension provides a shock absorber to prevent your fence from failing. Stripping one more back. Now that the fence is under proper tension, we're going to prepare the wire for joining with crimp sleeves. What we're doing next is removing the excess wire. What we're doing now is inserting each end of the wire into the crimping sleeve. As you can see, it's joining the two pieces of wire together. Ready when you're ready to crimp, crimp. One. Do to crimp all three. We're going to crimp all of them three times so it don't slip. Try to slide your tool out to the edge so you're crimping all of it. If you space your tool perfectly, three crimps makes that sleeve flat. See where we crimped in the center? I'm just coming in here now and crimping all the way so the sleeve holds its maximum capacity. Top is good. So now that you've learned how to properly tension your high tensile fixed knot fence, be sure to check out our next video where we'll show you how to properly staple your wire to your post.